Hello, and welcome to my installation guide for the unofficial patch for Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. This is an installation guide specifically for the Steam version. You are going to right-click the Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines in your Steam library, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, back a page, right-click the game folder, and delete. This will delete any of your save games that are still in your game. So if you're wanting to back those up, I recommend you finding them in your files, putting them someplace else, and maybe moving them back after the reinstall if you've already played with the unofficial patch. If you have played before installing the unofficial patch, do not do this. Next step, you will still see it as white in your Steam library. You're going to right click, go to manage, uninstall, uninstall. This will gray out the name. This then lets you know that you have successfully uninstalled. Just to double check, go into your Steam folder and make sure that there is no Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines folder in here. Now, moving on. Next step, install the game. Great, now that that's finished downloading, your next step is going to be to open your browser. Then you can simply search this into Google, for example, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines Unofficial Patch. Uh, there will be a ModDB link, probably the first link, um, leading to this mod page. There will also be a link in the description to this if you want it for ease of access. Now when you go to this page, you will see this. If you see something other than this, you're on the wrong website, you're probably going to get a virus, get off of it. Now. Uh, this is the official website. You'll see here on official patch 10.7 final released, blah, blah, blah. That's not what we're going for. You'll see here articles. We're back here at the top. Articles is right here. We're going to scroll down. Directly under articles, there will be a section called files. And under there, there will be unofficial patch 10.7. This is what we want. You'll go here. You may see a few other download now buttons. You are not going to click any of those. You are only going to click this red download now button. If the button does not look like this, do not press it. It will open this. I have an ad blocker, so it will download in just a moment. Now I'm simply going to save this to my desktop. We can close that. Now that it's installed, uh, you can open it and you will be prompted you will hit yes to this prompt uh, you may get a windows defender notification saying it blocked this program don't worry it is perfectly fine you can hit more info and hit run anyway it will work just fine now you'll see this screen you'll hit next you will see this next and then you're going to stop here you'll see the file path and one thing you'll notice is the vampire the masquerade is in all lowercase characters that is not how it is supposed to be you're going to hit the browse button you are going to go all the way from here so for me my steam is installed on my c drive program files x86 then steam steam apps common then you look for Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. You simply click on the file. As it is highlighted like so, you'll see that the name is now capitalized. You'll hit OK. Next. Now, definitely install the plus patch. This is all like fixes and you know, tweaks, bug fixes, just things that weren't designed properly. It fixes a bunch of those things. Now, another thing I highly recommend you use but is not required is the patch extras. This will install just a bunch of different NPCs saying stuff, different things to do, just a bunch of different tweaks and characters. It's really worth it, in my opinion, but to each their own. Uh, you then go to Next and Install. Great, now we have successfully installed, but you are not ready to play the game yet. Um, next thing you must do is you must either make your own shortcut for the unofficial patch EXE in your game files, or if you're using the Steam version, you'll see here there's a little line for dash game unofficial underscore patch. It has to be spelled exactly like this. You can copy it, so control C while highlighting. Then you'll hit next, 
uncheck these boxes, finish. You will then go back to Steam, right click your game, go to properties, go to general, and set launch options. And there you will paste this command, as you can see I already have it, dash game unofficial underscore patch. No other alterations made to this. Hit OK. And that's it. You have successfully installed. So we're going to open the game and test. Great. Now that we're on the main menu, as you may have noticed, you will see the different clan symbols and stuff flying around the screen. That is one indicator that you have successfully installed the unofficial patch. Another way to surefire tell is you go to Options, Gameplay, and there will be Unofficial Patch 10.7. If this is here, you have successfully installed. Now, one other thing I might add is if you are having issues with the game, like not being able, like stability issues, game crashing, just micro stuttering, different issues, a bunch of things can happen. One of the things, one of the many things you can try that I'll just leave in this video is you go to the audio tab, untick environmental effects, hit OK, and then you are good to go. After you install the unofficial patch, you cannot play on your previous saves before the unofficial patch. You must launch the base vanilla game in order to play on those saves. After you install the patch, you must start a new game every time. Um, but you can load unofficial patch games as long as you're playing with the unofficial patch, of course. So, now that you know how to do it, I hope you guys have fun in your new playthrough. Uh, have fun sucking blood, vamps. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.